All right, yep. we're recording so, now. I'm, I'm Pete Farkas. I'm the executive, executive director of the Mass Hire Grillo Workforce Board, of which Stephanie and Danielle are board members. And Judy. And board members. And Judy, too. Sorry, I didn't see Judy. There you go. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, what our role is, is um, there's 16 workforce boards in the region. I'm the director of the one in greater role. And the board's role is um, trying to convene partners like yourselves to kind of understand what are the business needs. Um, both on the job seeker and the industry side. Um, and then we report to the board in terms of priority industries, kind of where we should be focusing on with whether it's public, public dollars, state money, federal money. Um, and then we work together with Shannon at the Career Center. And I'll let you go, Shannon. Uh, hopefully this will work. Um, so we're the Career Center in, in the Greater Little area. So we are um, here to help people get reemployed and to help businesses find a uh, job, you know, find uh, workers. So right now, obviously, we're getting inundated with um, people that are trying to file for unemployment and are having issues. Uh, we're getting some calls from employers, uh, more that they're just concerned about their staff that they've let go, uh, and if their staff uh, are having issues with their unemployment claims. Uh, there is a um, an email that employers can use uh, to get their questions answered, and it's called UI Employer Help. This is all one word: UI Employer Help at detma.org. So that's D-E-T-M-A.org. Um, so that's one way businesses can can email directly to um, to the Detma. Det that was Department of Employment and Training at one point. But um, they they'll get back to you. Also, there's a um, there's a really good FAQ section on um, the the mass.gov slash DUA, um, or you could just Google FAQ employer questions, um, and it's just, it just has all the stuff about furloughs, about work share, about um, you know what the difference. Like, there's a lot of people that are getting laid off. And it's um, they're expected to come back at some point, um, so there's questions about about that, and, and and they're definitely able to collect unemployment right now, um, and even people who are working part time are encouraged to to if their hours have been reduced due to this, they should be um, filing for unemployment. One thing to know um, with this CARES Act, uh, the state hasn't. Um, gotten all the regulations and the eligibility and all of that from the federal government yet. So I think a lot of people are, are saying, well, I'm a 1099 employee or I'm a gig worker or where's my $600, you know, and that's not in place yet. So I know people are, are, are questioning that. Um, there's also these town halls that the that um, the Executive Office of Labor and Workforce Development are putting on. They're really informative. They give a chance for people to call and and um, ask questions and they get them answered in real time. Um, so a lot of people are having the same issues, so it's, it's worth it um, for, for people to, um, to listen in on that. So if employers wanna encourage their employees who have been laid off to, um, to participate in those town halls, and some of them are in Spanish, which is good.